This is the first type of reaction we're going to do. Now, synthesis is very basic and easy. All we're we're going to keep it very short and simple. So you've got Na and a reaction of uh, Cl. Sodium plus chlorine gas react. What are they going to make? NaCl. Wait, forget about I'm going to explain everything. Now, if you look at just these two things, the only possible outcome is that. So step one is to actually predict the products. Step two would be then to go back and balance them out. Because, you know, as you're saying, oh, there's Cl2 here. It's written like that because it's diatomic. Uh, over here, it's not written like that because it's bonded. And if you think about this, sodium is plus one, chlorine is negative one. So that formula is correct. Now, what do I have to do to go balance it? Put a two there, put a two there. So synthesis is very simple. So synthesis is very simple. All you've got to do is be able to look and I say and you know identify and say these two things are gonna combine and that's it. Nothing more. What? So that we could balance the equation. We put the twos there because we needed to balance the equation out. You you don't carry this two over here because it's plus one and negative one. Okay? So you have to then go back and reconcile it and balance it out. Now, the next type is decomposition. We're going to keep it very simple. Decomposition actually is quite a bit more complicated and involved in this, but in terms of the scope of what we need to cover in here, we're not going to get into that. So really all you need, let's just do a quick example. We got Fe2O3. So we're going to decompose iron oxide here. What's it going to break apart into? It's going to break apart into iron, yes, and oxygen. Very simple, very easy decomposition reaction. Again, it gets more complicated, and, and these, these can be far more involved, but we're just keeping it relatively simple for you right now. So decomposition, you're just going to have iron. Now, I don't write that as Fe2 because it's not one of the seven diatomic elements where it's naturally found as 2. Uh, and then just O, 2, because oxygen is, remember, one of these seven diatomic elements over here? Don't forget that. Yes. When oxygen and any of these plus hydrogen are by themselves, you have to remember, write them with the two there, diatomic. Now you have to go back and balance everything again. So to do that, it's probably going to be this. You end up doing that. That's your coefficients. Uh, six oxygen, six oxygen, four irons, four irons. Now, that's decomposition. Very simple decomposition. Again, that's all we're doing for right now. Uh, next, let's do combustion. So these are the three simple ones. Then we'll get into a bit more complicated stuff in a second. So combustion. Uh, Benzene? It doesn't matter. That's not what I meant to write. So C5, H12. I'm not going to go through and balance these, though, just so you know, because I don't feel like figuring that right now. So we've got C5, H12 plus O2. <coughs> Am I losing my voice, really? That would be bad. Now, you do this, you recognize it, it's a combustion reaction, what are your products automatically? H2O plus CO2. It doesn't matter if you write CO2 first, it doesn't make any difference. Uh, you do another one, let me just give you like any example. Anything you recognize as a combustion reaction automatically has the products of CO2 and H2O. It just doesn't matter. That's just do it automatically every single time. No matter what. No matter what. Then it's not a combustion reaction. You would then have to go back and balance these, and they would balance out. So then you, you would do that. So 
So, 